of people and decisions, but then they second guess themselves and regret it? Yeah, that gut feeling is our internal compass. And the dream dude and dudette, <laughs> Cole and Michael <laughs> Sebastian, are here with advice on how to trust yourself. Let's talk about gut feeling. Why should we trust our gut feelings? Intuition is really listening to that internal compass mm -hmm. each time we have to make a decision in our life. Let me give you an example. Say we meet someone for the first time, and maybe it's a potential relationship. And they look good, they walk good, they talk good, and all of our friends give us advice. Oh, they're the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, my God, are you lucky? But it doesn't feel right. We get that maybe that knot right here when we think about a relationship. So we hesitate. We put it off. And 30 days down the way, a couple months down the way, sure enough, we find out they are not what they appear to be. And we trust it ourselves, hence trust yourself. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you don't trust yourself, you get a DUI, you lose money in the stock market, you lose the poker hand, you pick the wrong role or project, and the movie tanks. These are some of the repercussions of not trusting yourself. Mm -hmm. who, who does it more, men or women? It's mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's a different women thing. like to think they do it more. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's really a gender thing. I think we all have that intuitive feel. Absolutely. And as we start to work with it and learn to work with it, like playing uh, basketball or baseball, mm -hmm. we get good with it. Some are we, are we prone it. to get more information and then act on our intuition? Or, or are women more emotional about it? What's, what's the difference? I think that's there? very accurate, actually. Men are a little more mental in, in that aspect, and they do gather more information mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. you know and then make a decision. Whereas the female tends to tap in and, and acts in that manner. But ultimately you should use all you should use your intuitive faculties mm -hmm. and the mental. One is not superior. However, they work so well together. How do you draw the line between intuition and paranoia? Every and I know you're becoming too <laughs> right, paranoid, right. you know? I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. After a while, you're, be you're becoming too skeptical, and you think, oh, my God, feeling's mm -hmm. telling me, me this, but it's wrong, really. Right. How do you, how do, you and, do that? And a lot of people make a decision, and they go, oh, my God, I, I, it felt like intuition, but it was the wrong decision. And when we're thinking about something, when we're pondering something, it's the very first thing that comes in. Mm -hmm. It's really not a thought, and that's why we miss it. So we're thinking about, should I make a career move to New York? And the second we start to think about it, we get a feeling. And it's either a serene feeling comes in right here or maybe in the heart area, and that's our intuition. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times right behind it then comes the mind. There's a mental thing that goes on, like, oh, my God, this could be a problem. What about the logistics of this? That's all the mental part. Let's take it to the next level, and that would be if you dream about something mm -hmm. and you base your decision on a dream or a vision of something that you while you were sleeping, mm -hmm. you think, oh, I should have done this, I mm -hmm. should have done that, or I should not have taken that trip or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, let me give you a good example. Let's say you dream, because the symbolism is a bit tricky sometimes, and you wonder, is this a rational thing or irrational? Yeah, What's yeah, going on here? Yeah. Okay, let's say you dream of, of being incarcerated, getting pulled over and going to jail, being yeah. taken to jail. Right. Okay. Now, In your underwear. You got yeah. it. Feeling exposed, <laughs> exposed right? Exposed. Yeah, right. <laughs> we there did you go. this last time. Oh, you're kinky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. right. There you go. So what you ask yourself, this is key, this is so key. What's going on in my life right now? Am I acting in a manner that would promote my incarceration, i.e., am I a drug runner? Am I driving <laughs> often under the influence? Uh -huh. Then you dream of being locked up? It's probably a warning dream. However, let's say you're just a good little mm, and you don't do any of those illegal things, mm -hmm. and you dream of being in jail. It probably is representative of, of being imprisoned within a relationship or a career. Mm -hmm feeling imprisoned and you need to bust it loose type of thing. So, so there's what, no real irrational dreams. All right. What, all if, dreams you, what if you were dreaming numbers and you say, okay, these numbers, I, I'm going to play super lotto <laughs> and I'm going to win like 10 gazillion dollars. Mm -hmm. you should, should you go with those numbers? You know, yeah. I mean, numbers all of a sudden <laughs> pop into your head. Not that I have <laughs> The consequences you, are you going to lose the right, buck that right. you put in. If, you know, yeah. 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 Numbers and money all, all often mean change and not okay. lot of oh, numbers right, per se. Right. Yeah, and, there, and there's one, one thing I do want to get into the mix here before we cut out. Um, and that would be that when working with intuition and things of this nature, it's a, it's a fine art. And in our book, Trust Yourself, and in our workshops and in our private consultations, we teach specific techniques to become proficient and to feel confident in working right. with, with those faculties, if you will, and, and a good technique. Right. And dreams come in on a certain frequency, and so does intuition. And once we tune into that frequency, like tuning into KTLA, we tap into what we need to know to go forward in our life. 
and there's a technique that we teach in, in the workshops, and it's called the hue. You want to give them a I'll demo? I'll give you a quick demo of the hue. Hue. That sets up a frequency mm -hmm. so we can get the answer and clear out the mental It chatter. does, because you know what? What blocks the channel? Fear blocks the channel. Ego. Mm -hmm. Anxiety. So when you hue, you clear all that out, and you're open and receptive to the mm -hmm. messages coming in. And mm. some of us do that with prayer. And it's a meditation. You got it. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. And we try to connect thing. that yeah, way as well. Exactly. Thank you so Thank much. You so all right, much. You, you can meet you. these two, the dudes, Nicole and Michael, at a dream workshop. She just mentioned it. Uh, this Saturday at the Holiday Inn on Highland Avenue, just around the corner, of course, thedreamdudes.com, or you can check ktla.com for more information. Thanks so much for Thank being you here. Thank you so much. Good to Thank see you again. Good to see you. We're back in just a moment. Right back. Uh -huh. You must trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Your inner voice. And you know what I'd like to tell your audience? Mm. If you go to our website... Oh, it's a great picture. Oh.